Welcome to Last Night, the show where people go to die. Folks, Brendan O'Malley. We as the American people must understand that we cannot solve our problems by killing people off one by really? one. What? I'll always be on your side. Mm-hmm. Baby. So sweet. I don't know anything about that city. I don't know a single soul there. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Uh, you're living in LA now. Los Angeles. Beautiful city. It's different. How does it compare to Bridgeport? Th there's no old people. There's no old people who are like set in their ways. The old people in LA are the people who evolve, who change their diets to, to be healthy and and you know to not get sick anymore. I think the East Coast, I think New York, I think Bridgeport, there's old people who want to die in their ways, which I love. Those are my favorite types of people. The people who you walk into like a, a, an Italian joint and you know that they have not left that place in 60 years. Yeah. But I have a father uh, who is not an active person yeah. and I've lived in Los Angeles for two and a half years and Every time I ask him if he'll come and visit me, he goes, not today. What, what are you doing out there? You're doing some, some acting. Yeah, acting, stand-up, sketch, uh, improv. To What's it like out. being in the, in the center of all that, you know, right, right in the middle of the industry? It's invigorating and disheartening. You, you were doing some stuff in New York too, right? You were doing some comedy. I was doing some... comedy and uh, a few short films in New York. How do they compare the New York, you know, looking for work in New York and looking for work in LA as an actor? LA is the center of it. So I've been able to get lucky and book a couple things. LA, there's so many things going on that you can catch those crumbs a lot easier, I think, than New York just because it's kind of the center of the industry. The best audition I, I can think of is one that I didn't get, but I had put so much work into it, but it was for a History Channel miniseries that I was really excited about. And they, they began the audition by asking for two fun facts about me. And my fun facts were my name is legally misspelled on my birth certificate. I don't know if you know that. Really? I told you that. Your name is legally misspelled? Brendan O'Malley is my yeah, name. Right, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. My second one was a shout out to Bridgeport. And I said I'm from the birth of aviation. You, uh, you played some sort of Asian. Uh, That's not true. In a high school play. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that could have been. You actually have a clip of that. No, you do you really. No, <laughs> I, mean, I fucking wish. Every one of my lines was in Chinese, but I decided not to do that. I I just made noise, uh, made noises. I remember one in one of the shows. Um, I don't remember what the actual line was supposed to be or what the scene was, but what I ended up saying was, "Chin, chin." No S2 Chin, which I think is Spanish. It was, it was terrible. A, it was hard to watch. It was a bold endeavor in. I don't think playwright. anyone really enjoyed that. Well, I, I, I don't. You, you kind of have a little bit of the accent going there. I've noticed you got you picked up a little bit of that West Coast twang. I guess they call it. I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> The fuck is that, yeah, dude? I'm so sorry, the Los Angeles accent. I'm so sorry. That's bad, dude. Yeah, like, I'm uh, sorry. I'm so, I'm so, so, oh my God, I've got, I'm... Tell me about uh, the, what you're wearing. Who are you wearing? This? Yeah. Oh, this is just a thing I had. Okay. 
Well, we really appreciate the effort. I mean, is that leather? Are those leather pants? <laughs> yeah. I had an audition for Will and Grace that went nowhere. You went, you auditioned for Will and Grace? That went absolutely nowhere. Who did you audition for, Grace? Okay. You don't have to beat their own shit. You, you know, know I didn't audition, audition for Grace. Do you do that on your fucking auditions you know in LA, I didn't audition big man? For Grace. You do that at your you fucking auditions? You throw shit around right. the studio? Okay. Are you hungry? Never not hungry. What do you eat, pepperoni? You don't eat pepperoni? No, I, I don't eat pepperoni, actually. Are you vegan? No. Are you I vegetarian? Don't eat pepperoni. No, I eat sausage. I just don't eat pepperoni. You really don't eat fucking I think pepperoni. It's overrated cured meat. Well, I mean, it's not prosciutto. It's no. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's no. I'm a mushroom sausage guy. Mushroom sausage. I wish I would have known that, man. We got a, we got a, a pepperoni pie coming out. There's a fucking pepperoni pie coming out. Yeah, dude. I didn't know sausage and mushroom was what you liked. I would have put in sausage pep or sausage mushroom. I'm sorry, dude. You're hiding something. You're hiding something. Well, yeah, come on, what's going on? Can you talk about it? Can you talk about it? Can you tell us what's going on? It's big. What is it? What it's is it? It's big. I didn't what think I was it? breaking come it here. On. I went out for a, a stupid thing that I thought would go nowhere. Uh, it turns out that uh, I'm going to be in a remake of the first Fast and the Furious. What? Fast and Furious? Dude? F and F. Dude, yeah. that, I, that's my favorite movie. I Everybody knows that's my favorite fucking movie. Don't, don't know, know how it Tim, could be. Tim, what's my um, favorite movie? Good Will Hunting, right? No. You step into it and clearly Paul's not going to be there. Uh, I know, yeah. Which is something that weighs on you. Uh, but I was actually... But you're not... You weren't... Are you playing... No, 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 no. I, um... I'm going to be Dom Toretto. Uh, I'm Are you reprising the role of Dom Toretto. I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I definitely see it. Super exciting. You know, Vin Diesel always reminded me of you. I remember sitting in uh, homeroom freshman year and Father Bill coming up behind me, licking his thumb, putting it on my forehead, brushing my hair back and saying, you're a young Vin Diesel. I fuck you then! What are you smiling about? Dude, I almost had you. You almost had me? You never had me! You never had your car! Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. Yeah, you're lucky that hundred shot in us didn't blow the world out of the ink tank. Now me and the mad scientist gonna rip apart the block and replace the piston rings you fry. It don't matter if you win by an inch or 